Hello everybody and welcome back to question number nine on the 2009 Fermat paper. In the diagram, any, this is the suit uh, spades from a deck of cards, so any spade may be moved to an unoccupied space. What is the smallest number of spades that must be moved so that each row in each column contains three spades? So we've got our little diagram over here. And uh, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to quickly copy. I don't think I have enough room here, so I'll give this its own page. So it was a 5x5? Five five. No, it's, yeah, it's 5x5, five five. okay. I thought it seemed kind of narrow, so that, that says 4x4 four four or 5x5, five five, and it turns out it was a 5x5. Five five. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. All right, uh, I'm probably not going to be fancy enough to use spades the way they have. I'm just going to use black blobs. Everyone okay with that? Good. So we start off with uh, a 2 by 4 set there. And then 1, 2, 3, 4. And then 1, 2, 3. Now, we're told in the question we want each row and each column contains three uh, spades, or in my case, three black dots or three black blobs. And if I add them up, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. I have 15 dots with five rows and uh, five columns, and I want three in each. That's just enough dots to do it. So I can't be sort of stingy. I've got to make sure that each row, column, and etc. has uh, three. Now, I would probably make an initial survey here. Four, four, two, four, and one. So I've got three columns that have a bit much. Or, sorry, three rows that have a bit much, and I've got two that are lacking. So this one needs one. This needs two. And then in terms of columns, i got four, 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 two, one. So I have the same sort of situation. Okay. So uh, a row needs one, and a column needs one. And then we've got rows and columns that each need one. So uh, what can we do here? So the only places I should be adding dots are in these columns and these rows. And those overlap in these boxes here. Those are the only ones where I should get some dots. Okay. Uh, now, what could I do? Well, um, actually, let's uh, use green for our hypothetical dot placement. Uh, now, you don't want to overthink this. This is still question nine. And so, you know, a quick placement like that'll add one to that column. So I don't need that. Put one there, put one there. Is not bad. Not a bad idea at all. So that's my plan. I want to turn these green dots into black dots by moving some of our other black dots. Now, let's take a look at the overlap. And again, this question's actually fairly straightforward. And you can get it pretty quickly by messing around. But we've got four columns and four columns where there is too much. And I want to take one away from each of the rows and each of the columns. So I have sort of a, a nine by nine, or a four by four, ugh, what am I saying? I have a three by three mini grid of nine blobs and I should be taking one from each. Doesn't matter which one as long as I take one from each row and column. So I'm gonna get rid of this black dot this black dot and this black dot. Just go along there. And I'll turn these green dots into black dots. Okay? I have to move three. Okay? Because I've got three rows and three columns that just have too much. So I need to at least remove three. One from this column, one from this column, one from this column. It turns out that I need, uh, I can do it with only three. And that's what they're looking for. The smallest number there, it's got to be three. And now I've shown that it's possible. If I'm honest, I took a way too long on this question. It's fairly straightforward of just trying some things to move around. But if you are having trouble getting started, that's how I analyze it. I take a look which columns, which rows are deficient, which ones are, say, abundant. And then I sort of looked at some overlaps and say, okay, which things have to stay where they are, which things ha could move. For example, with my overlaps, I know that I've only got two right now in this row. So these two here, 
I shouldn't be moving them. Their row isn't satisfied yet. So that's how I know they're sort of off limits. Okay. And that was, what was that, question eight? That was question nine. Question nine. So up next, I guess we're going to finish off part A with question 10. I'll see you there.